What we're looking at here is a Fisher level troll. It's a displacer type level instrument. We've got it set up on this rack just for a place to view it and to access it easily. Normally what you'd see is this instrument would be attached to a vessel with these two pipe flanges. These would go to a couple of isolation valves, block valves, and they would go to the nozzles on a large vessel. Right now we just have it hung here for observation. This is a displacer instrument, and so that means inside this cage, this cage assembly here, you can see a displacer. And we look in there, there's actually a metal piece, a round metal piece called the displacer. Some people call it a float, but float is actually not the proper term. It technically does not float on the liquid level. Instead, it just hangs within the liquid and experiences a buoyant force that's proportional to the level. And so you can see a bit of it up here as well. This is really crudded up with a bunch of sulfide crystals. So it's pretty, uh, pretty hard to see what's going on. But the displacer height extends between uh, this point up here and that point down there, with the middle, the center, being right about there. The way this works, it's a displacement and torque tube type instrument. So the displacer hangs within the liquid here. As the liquid level builds up, it experiences a larger and larger buoyant force. That makes the displacer seem as though it's getting lighter. Up at the top, you have a mechanism called a torque tube. Inside of here is a spring steel tube that can twist back and forth. There's a lever over here upon which the displacer hangs. So the weight of the displacer hangs at the end of that lever and exerts a torque on that tube. That twists a small metal rod here that is then attached to a flapper and nozzle assembly. What happens then, as liquid level builds up inside this cage, the displacer appears to get lighter. That relieves some of the weight off of the uh, lever. The lever moves up a little bit. That twists the torque tube inside the instrument. And this metal rod twists as well, bringing the flapper closer to the nozzle, building up back pressure, which is then amplified by the relay, which then fills up the boron tube and makes the boron tube pull away. This then is a motion balance instrument. The motion of the flapper is matched by the motion of the boron tube. The pressure then that's required to fill the boron tube becomes the pneumatic output signal of the instrument, 3 to 15 PSI. We have a zero adjustment here and a span adjustment. The span they label a specific gravity because that is the one factor of the process that will affect the span adjustment besides the length of the, dis the displacer, which of course is fixed in this uh, particular case. We have a fixed length displacer, so the only process factor that can possibly change to influence our span would be the specific gravity of the fluid. Hence, they label the span adjustment here as the specific gravity adjustment. And that is a Fisher level troll level instrument. This particular model happens to be attached to a multi-troll, which is a proportional controller. This is the set point adjustment, here's a proportional band, and this is a motion balance uh, mechanism here for doing proportional loop control. So this particular instrument was designed to control a control valve to uh, control water level. In this case, it was on a stripper vessel. It says right here, stripper water surge drum, LT17-624. This was a level transmitter for that surge drum level and a level controller as well on, a, on the same unit.